It's hot up here. It's hot and it's monotonous. Hi, I entered menopause. Every single woman is going to go through, and so are men. It is a magical time of life. Hormones, not about erections. It's going to start to dry up and look a little worse and look a little worse and look a little worse. It'll live. It'll live for a while. It'll still be standing there living for a while. And it keels over and dies. What is your secret? How have you managed to stay alive so long? How is it you're still working? How is it you're still in the game, so to speak? You know, by the time you're 100 years old, most of your friends are gone. They're dead. Now, your husbands lose their hormones, too. Grumpy old men, itchy, bitchy, sleepy, weepy, bloated, forgetful, and all dried up. The gradual loss of vitality, the vibration of living. We're going to live to be 90 and 100 years old. Whether we should or not, technology is going to keep us alive. With tubes up my nose and sitting in a wheelchair and not being able to remember anything. The sex symbol lost her sex drive. I want to explain to you, uh, I never give advice. Why do middle-aged men leave their middle-aged wives? We look great now. I punished myself for the several months that I was going through the torture. I could have scratched my skin off. We, we look better now at middle age than any woman has in the history of women. And the reason men leave us is because we behave so badly because you'll go crazy literally you cannot mess around with hormones that's why you're feeling crazy is your sex drive coming back has the itch gone away it can be a true time of suffering really it was truly blessed because our hormones I cannot tell you as we lose our hormones is that natural hormones your major hormones and your minor hormones you know what you what your career is or what you want to do with your life at this point maybe it's just do nothing and you look at your husband with that look in your eye and you are the instigator we're both both hormonally imbalanced yes yes your husband that's just the way men are like a tulip that was wilting from lack of water and now you're coming back to life men lose their hormones too they are gaining weight they are getting bigger and bigger through the rear end, through the hips, th through the neck, everything. You know why? They're doing fine as long as they can have erections. I am watching you fade before me. The drug companies know best, dear. Boy, you're like a 35-year-old, you old fool, which I know is not very kind of me, but I was ready to tear my hair out. There's nothing feeding your bone. You're losing bones. Gee. You're losing bone, bones that break a PMS kind of state that never goes away. Remember when you used to have PMS and it was, least, it was one morning or two, two days of the month? But you also want to yell at people because you're just feeling so crazy inside. I knew a woman who died. I am loving menopause. What woman have you ever heard say that? You have to give up your hormones. It keeps you firm. It keeps your bones strong because your bones are strong. And when you're having regular sex, uh, I can't feel anything. And that's what happens. You feel nothing you hit 50 and it's all downhill you look better you just do now this is where women go oh I don't want that all right you don't have to have that here's 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 what here if you don't want that here's what you get itchy bitchy sleepy weepy bloated forgetful and all dried up I'm, I'm not telling you what to do I don't usually sleep but I watch dr. Phil what about sex you're 83 you're taking these hormones do you have a sex drive yes I would love to have sex again. I gave up my hormones because they're expensive. Hormonal imbalance is the domain of middle-aged women. Your guy has hormonal imbalance too. And crazy, by that time you're going to be so sick of him, you just hope he shuts up and goes in the corner. Okay. But I have no sex drive. None. I do it because, you know, he's got to have it every once in a while, but really I could be looking at my watch or eating an apple. These wives are hoping that sex doesn't happen. The sex drive goes away completely. Gone. Gone. Raging hormones in, in teenagers. But they're not going to buy this book. You are going to buy this book. It's like going to a dermatologist for a, a heart transplant. I do not want to live in a world without pharmaceuticals. Right? Right? So if they are going to keep us alive through technology on synthetic hormones, right? Synthetic hormones hormones well what are you taking Suzanne I'll take what that is and synthetic hormones one pill fits all and if that's what you all you want then by all means take it it is this is not for sissies you could drink and smoke and stay up all night and eat potato chips and all that I eat a lot of food but I eat great uh, hormones promote breast cancer hormones pr pr uh, promote uh, ovarian cancer there hasn't been studies around long enough for any of these drugs that we're taking all I know 
is that I'm not taking a drug. What? You couldn't pry them away from me. And if I do get off a few hours, this is how sensitive we are, I get a little bitchy. Nobody in your hometown knows anything about what I'm talking about. And that's more likely to happen than not. Save your money, do without something, drive, fly, make an appointment, but I'll tell you, I'm just like the 83-year-old woman. And I must say, a frisky sex life, you can have it too. <laughs> Hormones.